A long time ago, yet somehow still in the future, the Horus Heresy has made a comeback, so we got the Game Chamber's Warhammer guru, Joe, to take us into the Age of Darkness. So I'm obviously an expert, but for all the idiots out there yeah. who don't know what Horus Heresy is, <laughs> What is this? Horus Heresy is a step back to Warhammer 30,000. It's a really exciting time period when the Emperor attempted a secular society to branch out and reconquer all of humanity's lost worlds and reunite them all under one banner. Unfortunately, one of his Primarch's sons, Horus, decided he wasn't down for that sort of thing and started a massive rebellion and made a jump and an attempt to take down the Emperor of Mankind and completely annihilate him. Thus, we have hit the Age of Darkness, a new box set released by Games Workshop to give players the opportunity to join in the Horus Heresy, not with resin miniatures, but with plastic. So this is the first time they've made it in plastic then? This is actually the third time, but this is the first time where it's actually easily accessible, now with the new second edition rule set. It's not attached to Forge World like it used to be, right? No, it's its, its own separate component, which now with second edition rules is gonna be much more player friendly and competitive for everyone to enjoy. So uh, these uh, are the old original whippy sticks, oh, the most yeah, yeah, obnoxious yeah. thing in the world yeah. because anyone who has been in the hobby since like 2010 previous knows that you left the shop or your friend's house with red welts on them. <laughs> they were the most awful thing in the world. Got new templates, which is pretty incredible. I personally love the design, the color of them. That's really nice in the plastic. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the first of the two Praetors. So this is the Imperial Fist one from the box art. And then we have the other Praetor, which is the Sons of Horus, with this massive power axe. And then of course, players who have seen the uh, Betrayal of Kalith box will know this particular spruce with the Cataphracti Terminator armor. And you're gonna have enough in this box set to build a total of 10 Terminators. So are these, uh, are these gonna be new sculpts for, the, for this release plastic or? Yes, yeah. so the Mark V, Cor or Mark VI, I believe, Corvus pattern armor, which is the beaky helmets. Um, is the newest version of the armor for Horus Heresy. They didn't used to have that. Um, they went up to a maximum Mark V. Um, and the really awesome part, my personal favorite, is the addition of chain bayonets are not a Forge World upgrade anymore. They come straight out of the box, which is amazing. And then again, you're, you're getting enough spruce to build almost 40 of these guys. So it's again, very similar spruce, same ideas. And so basically the bodies and the uh, starting for the bolters and other equipment is on these spruce here and then right here we have the upgrade sprue which gives you access to the bolt pistols the other bayonet formations a lightning claw attachment power swords and some really cool sergeant equipment to make them look really significant or uh different from their battle brothers oh this this is cool so this is your horse heresy vehicle upgrade sprue so it actually comes with all the extra equipment because tanks in the Horus Heresy, you can actually include a ton of additional upgrades. So anything from heavy flamers on just on the top turrets that a um, uh, space marine could use, but you actually come with all your top joints and you're gonna come with the combi bolters, Volkite, multi meltas, you come with a whole lot of equipment that you can attach to these tanks. And there's two tanks in this box? Actually, there's only one tank, oh. but the other is a Contemptor Pattern Dreadnought. Oh, okay. And so this is his sprue here. So it actually gives you a ton of different varying equipment. So you can actually include a twin LAS cannon, a multi melta a twin auto cannon, heavy bolters. You have a lot of equipment choice for how to build your Contemptor. And the nice thing is, is that because it's a multi-part plastic kit, you can actually make it with a lot more conversion to it. So it's not just a monopose model. It can come with multiple forms or styles for how you want it to appear on the battlefield. And you can magnetize these as well. Yep, so absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and then this is the quad LAS cannons for the Spartan Assault Tank, one of the largest tanks available now in plastic. Um, previously, it was a massive Forge World. Uh, tank, which unfortunately meant it weigh, weighed about 10 pounds. You could kill a man with it. Yeah, and basically it was a resin brick. And then there's some of the opponent or components there. You actually have the Imperial Fist logo as well as the Sons of Horus Eye, which you can include on the tank as well. There's a lot of uh, a lot of thought put into this box. I'm going to be honest with you. And again, the tracks the tracks here are almost I'd say an inch across. Like they're enormous. This. This tank is gonna be quite big. And again, there's your additional track, track pieces. You have your doors, and there's the quad LAS cannon attach points there. And now we're gonna get down to the second level. So you are gonna get oh, this go. good, uh... very fancy uh, release poster, 
which also gives you a minor, a previous representation. So an old Legion Praetor from the Betrayal of Caliph box. So those of you that have been in the Horus Heresy longer will recognize those miniatures there. The previous style to the Contemptor Dread. So just to be clear, this isn't this isn't showing you what's in this box. This is showing you everything else you can get. Yeah, yeah. it's showing you other variations of the model. So still with the Beaky Marines here, yeah. but in your ten Cataphracti, but as well you have the Legion uh, Tartaros pattern Terminators, and uh, some of the new tanks that are going to be coming out very soon. So the here, beastie of a book. <laughs> yeah, this is an incredible piece. <laughs> it's a thick book. <laughs> I, the, but the um, the codexes are that thick as well, right? Yeah, yeah, the codexes are also large. What my assumption is, and what I've heard about the reviews, is that half of this book is just lore uh, and storyline to get you caught up if you haven't read the Horus Heresy novels. So you're not going to miss out on anything or any of the information that's going on. It also gives you a little advertisement for those books there. And this is the instruction manual. So this will give you all how to build your marines, but the most important part of this actual instructions is not the building itself, but actually your rules to play the game directly out of the box. Everything is included so that if you did not immediately get your hands on the Liber Hereticus or Liber Astartes books, you actually have all the rules and equipment that you need to get started on the game itself. And you've got the stats for everything that's in this box. Yes. Yeah, so don't throw this out. <laughs> you may know how to build marines, but you may need that a little bit later on to play the game. And finally, in the bottom of the box, we of course have our bags of bases already ready for us. We have, of course, dice to play the game and oh, back good. to the old school scatter dice. And we have some water transfers as well for the Sons of Horus and the Imperial Fists. Thanks, Joe. So as far as monetary value goes, this one's a little bit tricky to price out because a lot of the parts in this box aren't available currently as separate uh, purchases. I could reference some of the Forge World models regarding price, but I think that's a little bit unfair seeing as they're actually made out of a different material. So instead, I'm going to price the parts of this box out in a equivalence that's already out there for sale within the 40k world. All of these prices are in US dollars. And again, take these with a pinch of salt because I'm just trying to price them out as far as like actual units in boxes go. So GW originally said when this was officially sort of announced that they were going to keep the price under $300 USD. They were good on their word. They priced it at $299. But for that, you're getting 54 miniatures, the rule book and the dice that you've just saw and everything else. The Praetors pricing those up as if they're just a regular sort of hero character are probably going to cost you $38 each. The Mark VI Beaky Boys, the Space Marines, uh, there's 40 of those in there, basing them on sort of four boxes of 10 regular space marines, you're talking $55 for each of those boxes. There's 10 terminators in there, so two boxes of five terminators would set you back $60 each. The dreadnought would cost you again $60, and the Spartan, I've put a rough estimate on that one being around about $110 based on similar tanks available. The rule book, assuming it's going to be similarly priced to the core book for 40k, is going to cost you $70, so not including the price of the dice the templates, transfers, you know, other little bits and bobs that you get in the box. You're looking at around about $650 worth of value out of this box if you all bought it separately. Now, obviously, these big boxes usually do have a decent sort of bulk discount involved with them. Most of the combat patrols for 40k, most of the uh, vanguards for Age of Sigmar usually run at about a 30%, 40% discount. Uh, but here we're looking at around about a 55% discount. It's really, really good value. As far as points go, if you were to use all these figures for 40k, which you can do, remember, you know, all of this is, is compatible, uh, you're looking at just under 2,000 points. So overall, this box is a really great price. It's a great way to get into Horus Heresy with the second edition rule set. Or if you just want these figures for 40k, I'm sure you could probably sell the rule book to somebody who's interested in it. And then you've just got a hell of a load of Space Marines for a really great price too. And of course, don't forget those whippy sticks. Man, the value you're going to get of those things is priceless. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Remember, if you are in the Southern Ontario area, the Game Chamber is in London, and we're going to be supporting Horus Heresy as best as we can here in the store. We have demo days and tournaments coming up very soon. There will be links in the description. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more from the Game Chamber.